In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the iconic Tallebrone chocolate logo text effects, and it's going to be super easy to do with Kittle. This will be perfect for any vintage enthusiast or any designer needing to make vintage text effects for their next project. And hey, if you're new to Kittle, that is our online design tool, and I'd love for you to try it out. You can sign up using the link down in the description, and then you can follow along with me step by step in this tutorial. So let's get started. So we have the Toblerone logo pulled up, and if if we zoom in here, we can see that we essentially have three main components for the text, which is what we're concerned with. So we have the bright red that's inset, then we have this kind of bronze outer width here, this kind of crimson bronze color, and then we have the really hard drop shadow of the blue. So let's go ahead and get started. If you hit T, you can add text easily. Let's type in Toblerone. And then our first task is to, of course, find a serif style font very similar to the Toblerone logo. So I think Milk Store 3 is going to do the job just fine. And I know it's not a one for one, but we're really just going for the text effect here, which is super, super easy to do. So let's go ahead and give our fill color that really bright red. It's kind of a muted red, but it's still bright nonetheless. So let's find one that's similar to it. So then all we need to do now is work on component number two, which is that outline so that the red becomes inset. So all I have to do is just add border weight until it feels pretty good. And I can change it to that kind of bronzish, uh, dark orangey yellow color. So let's put our panel on the right area here between the yellow and the red. And I think somewhere around here is feeling pretty good for that bronze look, bronze looking color. I think that's looking pretty good. And of course, you could change the width if you want it to be more or less. Now, in the effects panel, we have drop shadow already. We just need to turn the blur off. So if we turn the blur off and increase the offset, you can see this really harsh drop shadow, which is in the iconic Toblerone logo. So now we can find that dark blue, uh, that iconic dark blue, that kind of blends into the background with this bright red and this bronze. And then all we have to do is go over to the effects panel and just start playing with our angles as well as our offset. And it may take you a little bit just to get it, uh, but this is way easier to do than some platforms just using these sliders to get it exactly where you want it. And you can see here it's kind of coming together, right? You can see that the drop shadow is there behind it. And when I say harsh, I don't mean bad. I just mean like it's very a very much the same kind of one for one. There's no blur essentially. It's just a hard drop shadow, which is what we want for this design. So I'm thinking right around here, it looks pretty good. I think that looks very, very, very close to the Toblerone logo effect in terms of distance uh, and width and things like that. So let's change our background color. Let's click the background color here and give it that kind of iconic uh, bright yellow, that kind of muted yellow. And then what's nice is now we can just go in here and change it. We can type in chocolate. We can type in anything. And now that the effect is there, boom, it takes effect immediately. So here is the iconic Toblerone logo text effect. And you can see it was done in Kittle easily and ready to go. Now, if you want to see other tutorials using Kittle, I have these videos here on my right that I know you're going to enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.